How's it going everybody? Uh, this video is about uh, getting everything ready for harvest. Uh, we're going to be working on the combine, getting the grain cart set up, greased up. Uh, combine, there was a, a bearing we had to replace on a, on a shaft on the cleaning screen on the side right by the radiator. I'll show you that. And uh, we're changing the oil in it. So, um, just kind of showing all that. I just want to touch base real quick. I want to thank everybody for all the comments in the last video. And I, I knew what everybody was going to say. I knew it was going to be one of two things. And um, uh, it was, uh, of course, go to TMR and go to an electric cart. Um, and I kept saying the barn needs to be redesigned or retroed. Um, and what I mean by that is, what I mean by that is we're standing in the barn. If you see this, the cross joist is right here go this way and over here they go this way um, you have four stalls one two three four you have an opening and then you have the rest of the stalls there um, the way it's like that it's like it on the other side too the way you have your joists is going different on these four stalls and they actually sit up a little higher uh, let's see if I can show you that see how the ceiling sits here and then that sits up just a hair higher Reason being, uh, this is a really old barn. Uh, it wasn't this long. There was an addition put on before uh, my parents moved up here. But uh, when it was just the one bigger barn, uh, one part of the barn that's got the hay mow and everything, when it was just that, this is where the um, these four stalls would be where the horse stables were, where your working horses were and everything. So uh, when it was converted to an all dairy barn, they just use your, like I said, they use your four spots and opening and then your spots here. And your opening right here between the cows is very narrow. I know guys said those carts can turn on a dime, but if you're not, here's the poly cart I was using. If you don't have this in here just right um, and start turning just right, you're, you're hitting and you have to turn at an angle to go into there. And it's just as bad, just as bad on the other side. If you're not lined up just right, you're not turning. So that's what I mean. What, what, what I mean by retroing is it would be nice to almost take these four and slide them down. So your opening is not here. Your opening is where Addison's standing right there. Uh, move them down, bring this cow here, Jan over, I can't see who's next to Jan, but her over and Addison over. So your opening's on the end instead of here. Um, it's not as simple as just pouring a brisket. Um, brisket rail here, sliding everything down. I mean, you gotta mess with the pipeline, you gotta mess with the water troughs, you have to mess with, you know, the divider. There's, there's a little bit to it. Um, it's not an extremely hard job, but it's not, um, I just frame it up and do it over the weekend type of job either. Um, I could go on and on and on about updates in the future and this and that, but that's not what this video is about. I just want to touch base quick and tell you guys what I was meaning when I said we need to do, to have an electric cart, we need to do um, some updating to the barn and everything, which I totally agree with you guys. Um, I like the idea of TMR and I like the idea of having an electric cart. Uh, a great looking setup to me if money was no object and uh, you know I would love a freestall barn with I like using the silos um, the bags are nice I like going up taking a scoop dumping in the carts it's faster um, pros and cons to everything I always say that but uh, I, I like the silo especially when it's pouring or if there's a blizzard it's nice to push a button and watch that silage come right into the barn a nice setup that I like is if you guys want to check out Mac Farms I'm sure most of the people that subscribe to me subscribe to Mac Farms but he's got a beautiful barn beautiful setup I like that freestyle barn with the silos off to the side he, the silos go right into an uh, I think it's a bell metal cart and he drives right down and feeds that would be perfect um, one of the other things I thought of is if we look right here, here's the conveyor that brings the haylage and the corn silage in. And here is the auger that brings the uh, high moisture corn in off the hammer mill. You could park a cart right here or the Rissler cart or the J lower cart or whatever and mix, have it all come in and mix. Or you could put a stationary mixer right here and then have another auger come off and come in through here 
what that is is where that's where the halage used to come in the halage unit is right behind that opening um, and when I was a kid that's where the halage would come in before they'd all come in on the same but anyway that's just touching uh, you know I'm sure everyone's gonna have a everyone's gonna have an opinion and you know it, it's great I'm, I'm glad people share their opinions and uh, that's what this channel's about that's why I respond to comments and it's good I like the interactive but um, yeah it, it is what it is uh, it's working for now and uh, we'll see what the future holds there, there's a lot of question marks not just on TMR and mixing carts but in the, the dairy industry in as a whole you know so there's a lot of questions but anyway um, I hope that that was a quick one, quick overview of what I was talking about in the last video, as far as my response to the comments. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys getting the, getting the combine ready and uh, hooking up the green cart and getting that greased up. What do you think, Addison? Stuck on there. Yeah, all right, that's on. What a pain in the butt that was. Hmm? I said, what a pain in the butt that was. Got that one on. Yeah. And the other one, the idler is on the front end side here. New bearing, check. Well, it did tighten it. It's got a little dent in it. Holy cow. What, the old one? The old one. That one really went to town tightening this one. Well, it probably, probably, it probably dented uh, trying to take it off. Maybe. Just, just turn it on. Just turn it. Tighten by hand. Tighten the can by hand. Don't use that to tighten it. I just get too tight.
Perhaps the sign is no more nothing bolt left. Oh, you don't have any extra parts? Put it all back together and get your extra nuts and bolts. What'd you do with your cap? Uh, it should be set right on top by where your uh, oh. Everything clear? Yep. Alright. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it'd be easy. You want me to get in there or can you, you want to hop in and fire it up? Looks nice. That's a nice sight. Time to grease this all up.
So that's all hooked up, greased up. Um, the arm goes out, the door opens up. Uh, everything looks good. Uh, I'm glad I tested the dump truck out because that was dead. I have not driven this thing since uh, we got the door hinges fixed. The door still opens nice, but had the battery charger on there. Let's see what we got. We're beeping. All right. That's gonna beep till that fills up with air. But anyway, I'm gonna take the battery charger off and let it run for a while. Um, just from sitting, that's what the, why the batteries are dead, but I'll charge it up. I gotta check the lights on that, make sure everything's good on that too. We'll grease that up. But anyway, we are getting ready. Well, we're just about ready for a soybean harvest. So anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed uh, enjoyed this quick video of maintenance, getting everything ready to go. Uh, we're gonna have soybean harvest coming up after this. So anyway, uh, thumbs up if you like the video. Oh, and we might have a <coughs> custom job lined up. Uh, not with the combining, but just with the green cart and the trucking. Um, talked to my buddy Dusty and he was saying, for his high moisture corn how he was wondering if i could truck and uh cart for him so that'll be fun he's got a nice john deere 7720 beautiful combine so it'll be fun to maybe get some shots of that so fingers crossed anyway thumbs up if you like this video drop me a question or comment below hit that subscribe button if you haven't already if you have thank you very much i truly appreciate it i will see you guys next time